Welcome to Embot Neo Coding. Join us as we have fun and learn to code our Embot Neo robot. Are you having trouble connecting to Neo? What do I do? Let's talk about that. It's easy to build him and he comes with some programs. It's easy to just go through. They're fun to play with. And there's so many options to do after that that it can get confusing. So let's talk about it. If you're going to use a phone, then you want to get the MakeBlock app. If you have an iPad, you want to get the MakeBlock app and also the MBlock app. The MakeBlock app is going to let you play around with Neo as if he's a remote control car. But the MBlock app is going to let you also code. This is the MakeBlock app. Within this app, you can drive around like Mbot Neo is a remote control car. You can draw a path and he'll follow that path or you can play it like a piano. The first thing it's going to want you to do is connect him through Bluetooth. And as long as it's close, it'll connect right up. So you can use this to control him. You can draw a path and then tell him to follow it. And he's very obedient. And that sound is coming from him, not from the iPad. If you go to code within the MakeBlock app, it's going to take you to the MBlock app. And within the MBlock app, you're going to have to connect again. And if you just hold it close, the iPad's really good about the Bluetooth connection. And from there you can write code just as if you were on a PC. Now let's talk about connecting with a PC because that's what I would prefer to use when I'm coding. If I try to connect here, even when I go to Bluetooth, it never finds it. It says I have to have Bluetooth 4.0 and I do. So I ended up buying this little Bluetooth dongle and it works great. Never have any trouble connecting with that. It comes with instructions that you have to press this little button to make it pair with your Mbot Neo. But it comes with this USB cable. Let's talk about using that. Of course you have to use that to charge him. But you can also, let's just pretend this is my computer because this is plugged into my computer. But you can also connect to him not just charging, but you can connect to him with this cable. So if you have him connected to your computer, instead of Bluetooth, you would use USB and it's going to default to the right one. And then you would just connect. And so now I'm connected and I can be live or in upload mode, just like I would be on the iPad. If I don't want to use the cable, which I don't whenever I'm coding. I want to be able to code him and let him do the code live without having him tied down to the computer. So I would prefer to use this USB stick. It cost me 15 bucks. Well worth it. So when you have that Bluetooth connected, that Bluetooth dongle connected, you hit connect and it looks just like you don't pick Bluetooth over here. You pick USB because the computer thinks you are connected through USB. And somehow their Bluetooth connects, but my computer would not connect. The only other major issue I've had is whenever I was first starting to do this and I went to add, there used to be an Mbot Neo in here. And so I added Mbot Neo and I tried to code him and tried to make different blocks work. If things wouldn't work, it was broken. He's gone now, so I guess they figured out people were using it when they weren't supposed to. For Mbot Neo, we're supposed to use CyberPy. CyberPy is, as you know, this little control board up here. 
So make sure you pick the CyberPy for your device. And this M block that I have on my computer, you can run that online or you can install it. I'll have it installed. But choosing the right device and getting the Bluetooth working on my computer is the only real trouble that I've had. Now that we're connected, it's time to start coding. Like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the coding videos. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.